three weeks. LeVar Johnson looks to stay unbeaten inside the octagon by knocking down the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. Opening the first all heavyweight main card in modern UFC history will be a spectacular matchup that pits California knockout artist LeVar Johnson against the Netherlands, six foot 11, Stefan Struve. It's a bout that will have a significant impact on the heavyweight pecking order, as both fighters have been on a tear in recent bouts. When he's gonna come in and charge with those haymakers, I'm gonna have to use my footwork and you know, his momentum is gone. And then I'm gonna pick him apart. This is a game to, to bang away and uh, you know, with my power and my speed, I should be able to put him to sleep. Few heavyweights have made an immediate impact in the octagon quite like LeVar Johnson, a former WEC and Strikeforce standout. Johnson entered the UFC in 2012, and he has since earned two Knockout of the Night awards for finishes of Joey Beltran and Pat Barry. Tonight, he looks to make it three in a row by taking out Stefan Struve. Tonight's gonna end with a knockout, you know. Um, I have two UFC fights, two knockouts, two knockout bonuses, and a uh, third time's a charm. Stefan Struve may only be 24, but with wins in four of his last five fights, he may be approaching his prime if victories over Pat Barry and Dave Herman are any indication. Yet while Struve's willingness to stand with anyone has made him a fan favorite, it may be his ground game that will be his best weapon against LeVar Johnson. Technique beats power nine times out of 10. And if I use my reach the way I can and the way I shoot, he's not touching me. just four minutes and 41 seconds, the second shortest in UFC and strike force heavyweight history, LeVar Big Johnson. The skyscraper, Stefan Struve. Now we are being told he is 6'11 and a half, but more importantly, He's pretty fired up about the fact that his reach is 84 and a half inches, tied for number one in the UFC with John Jones. Crazy thing is he's 6'11 and a half. Well, my beef with this whole reach thing <laughs> is that it's only the hands. I mean, we're using a, uh, a measurement that's taken from boxing. When you think about John Jones, his kicks are the one thing that really separates him. That's a real distance, those gigantic long legs. And Stefan Struve has the same situation going for him. That's the real reach when it comes to a heavyweight mixed martial arts fighter, not just a boxer. It's the length of the legs and the distance between when a guy like Stefan Struve kicks you, his foot, and then you hitting him. 
and he has a massive advantage over almost everyone in the heavyweight division when it comes to that amount of reach. He has only gone the distance once of his 23 career wins. 21 have ended with either a knockout or a tap out. One time in 28 fights has he gone the distance. Stefan Struve, a very good submission artist, utilizing what you just talked about, those long legs. As he gets set to face LeVar Johnson. Our tail of the tape for this, our first heavyweight fight of the night, is brought to you by Metro PCS. Wireless for all. Johnson, a decade the elder of six foot 11 and a half inch tall. Stefan Skyscraper Struve, weight pretty close. There's the reach, 84 and a half. Three and a half inches longer than LeVar Johnson. To officially get things started, we turn it over to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas for UFC 146. Presented by Bud Light. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record, 17 wins, five losses, standing six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, the bar, Big Johnson. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record, 27 wins, five losses. He stands six feet, 11 inches, and one half tall. Weighing in at 255 pounds, fighting out of Beaver Road, the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! <laughs> and the action begins, our referee in charge, Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee, the beautiful Brittany, sold out MGM Grand Garden Arena. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Let's fight! Here we go, tonight's clock brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go, to the body quickly. The Johnson throwing bomb. He landed a big uppercut there, Mike. It's true, he took it, but that's, that's not what he wants to do. He doesn't want to get into an exchange with this man. He wants to tie him up, and this is the most dangerous position that LeVar Johnson always finds himself. When he presses guys up against the cage, that's when he works them over. He throws a high volume of powerful strikes in short amount of time. Does LeVar Johnson. Johnson, 16 wins by knockout, one by submission. He has finished all 17 of his career wins. He pulled guard because he had that left overhook. His left overhook is very tight, so he has that right arm trapped. And he's gonna slowly work his legs up. Trying to crack it in. It is all over. Stephen Strew by submission. That's technique, ladies and gentlemen. And no, as soon as he had that overhook, he had confidence in his technique and knew that all he broke his arm, Mike. No, 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 no. Sorry, folks. That's the man's LeVar Johnson defeated. By Struve, let's watch it. You know, he should have pulled out of there. Instead of trying to punch him there, the, the correct move is be to try to get out of there. He tapped before he even got to the ground. He went to that belly down Russian arm bar, but before he even got to that, he tapped. Check this out. Right when he got it there, you see he locks it up, he ties up that There's arm. There's the tap, yep, You see the tap. And prop to Stefan Struve for letting go immediately. Excellent technique by Stefan Struve. He just cranked on the arm of LeVar Johnson. And it goes according to game plan for Struve. He got hit hard early. He weathered the storm. He pulled guard and then submitted LeVar Johnson. Struve felt he had a huge grappling advantage. And it appears that that is very true. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosen calls called the stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to submission from an arm bar, Stefan Skyscraper Stu! 16th career win by submission.